Welcome to Pro Practice, your guide to refine, enliven, and illuminate the piano repertoire. I'm Josh Wright, and today's episode is covering the Paganini Etude in A minor, number six, by Franz Liszt. Um, so he, he wrote six Paganini Etudes, and this is obviously the finale of the set. Uh, the other famous one that I've also done a Pro Practice video on is La Campanella, so... That beautiful one. Wow, that was horrible. Let's try this again. And this video is uh, dedicated to Alonzo. He has been a longtime member, and I think it was two or three years ago that he requested this um, video. As you can see, the pro practice um, request list is quite stacked up. And in the, in the immediate future, I'll be finishing off the pictures at an exhibition intermediate series and the Chopin etudes. So that, those are kind of on the docket, but I wanted to start uh, out by getting to this piece. Um, and I will link a performance of this of mine in the comments section below, um, or the description below. I made a music video of this before the release of one of my albums uh, a few years ago called My Favorite Things, and this was on there. I love this piece. So um, I'm gonna go slow today. I haven't actually touched this for a year and I purposely didn't like practice this up for the video today because I wanted to show you guys how, I mean, this is an unfair advantage because I've played it for several years, but if something's not clean, how I would clean that up. And I'm gonna go over fingerings today. Uh, I'll go over how techniques on how to make your practicing, um, how to reduce tension in your practice, how to, uh, shape things, how to voice things well, um, all those types of things that will help you become as efficient as possible in your practice session. Here we go. <laughs> take it up to there. A couple of things. There's a lot of debate on how to do this. I'm going to show you just what I do because I remember I was doing this, which is um, what this particular edition uh, suggested. I, For list, it's kind of a mixed bag with editions. I generally like the Budapest edition. Um, I learned out of the Shermer edition. Uh, you can use whatever edition you want. I would highly recommend uh, probably using that Budapest edition, but comparing it with others, because sometimes there's some strange things uh, in the Budapest edition, but there's also a lot of great commentary. It's the Urtext edition for list, so um, I really like it. So this is what I originally took to my teacher. <laughs> which is what the addition had, and she's like, that's way too busy. Um, let's see. So what you can start off with is five, two, one, two in the left hand, and then one, two, three, five. And a couple ways to practice this, close your eyes. Okay, and then one, two, four, three, two. You don't want to go and play it double. You definitely want to switch fingers. Okay, now here I use five, two, one, three, two, and then I just have this easy one in the right hand, one, two, five. Five, two, one, three, two in the left, and then one, two, four, three, two. And you want to hold on to that thumb. And I just, I come off and then I touch my pedal so I can go down for this more easily. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, uh, how should we shape that? Because you're, you're gonna hear all sorts of uh, different interpretations on recordings and there's no one right way, but one way I have always enjoyed doing it, rather than starting so soft. And then you're just kind of left with this impending crescendo, which is not a bad thing. But something I like is a little bit more pizzazz at the beginning. And then a little lighter, because then it allows you to regrow. Okay, 
I want to just go through the rest of these chords really fast. So that one's pretty obvious. That one, you just have one, two, three, five. You might be saying, Josh, you have big hands. I have small hands. That's fine. Go watch Sergei Babayan play. He has fairly small hands, and he gets around the keyboard better than any pianist I know of. He's amazing. So um, never let hand size inhibit your ability to be flexible. Five, three, two, one. So do these little semicircles with your hand and go up. Okay. So. So nothing fancy there. It's just one, two, three, five the whole time. And I definitely like to end. Young. Italian augmented sixth chord going to five, seven, going to one really awesome chord there. So. Here, what I like to do is I like to create, um, first of all, I do five, two, one, two, and then one, five, and I like to do it totally dry, and then almost like a violin went like, or, or a harp or something, like pizzicato. And maybe I've done. And I like the ending. That lasts a little longer. Just my two cents there. So um, here, the first one, I don't, I don't have bar numbers in this score. Let me see, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bar nine. Maybe put your soft pedal down for a moment and make that really magical. Even with your soft pedal, make sure your tops ring out. Soft pedal off. I go to there. Be very kind of coy and playful and um, almost cunning there. So. you want. Okay, let's move on to variation one. Thank you so much for watching. As with all pro practice videos, the first section is free. If you'd like to view the rest of this video, or if you'd like to learn more about pro practice, just click on the link on this screen or on the link in the description below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thank you so much for your support. It means a great deal to both me and to my family. Have a great week. Good luck in your practice sessions.